Home Crafters and Paper Artisans, it's Chandra with Stock to Stuff. I am here to show you some of the things that I made for my um, my 13 day swaps that I'm doing, the two swaps. And I showed you the boxes and containers that I made, but I didn't go through what I put on the inside. And so I just wanted to share that with you. So in my, um, and I went, I decorated my coffin box a little bit more. Um, just put a frame here and then a little sentiment open if you dare. And, um, and so I put a, a sequence mix and one of those sh little shovels and I had big scattered uh, pieces that I had gotten from Target and um, maybe even Joann's a couple of years ago. And even I think I got a few in a swap. And so I just put those in there as well. Um, so that's a pretty simple, a pretty simple one. And then I have these little boxes already made. And so I just decorated it in um, Halloween paper because I think I had them made for a couple of years ago, everybody was making those caddies and I had just made all the boxes, but then I ended up doing different things in the pocket. So I had leftover boxes. So this is actually one of the store-bought gifts. So um, I have a, a bracelet and I just put it on a piece of cardstock and cut little angles out to fit, you know, so that it would fit in there and just put a sticker, Happy Halloween. And then I added some um, trick-or-treat uh, die cut pieces just to kind of fill up the box and in this box my boot um, banner box I did my ghosties that I had showed you um, I don't know if you've seen that video yet <laughs> but I have my little ghosties in there and I just did a bag a tiny little bag topper and put a flower on the front I have um, the candy banner and the ghost banners that I made from my newest die set. And then I did Scary um, in that one. And this one is Witch and Boo. And then those, this is my Boo SVG. I love to make this one, it's with the little glasses. And so I did two of those. And so I had to make things small for this box because I put small things in it because it was smaller than I thought, but I really loved it once I made it. And in this box, this was I think the mid-size one, I did uh, my little witch um, uh, ephemera that you, know, you can put on, on a bag front or whatever. I did two, I did uh, one with the purple witch and one with the green witch and the two different doilies that I have. And, um, I'm not sure if I told you about those that I had made the um, the broomstick for. And I had found this vintage, or not found it, I think it was, you know you get the freebies sometimes from Creative Fabrica, I think it was a freebie. So these were vintage Halloween designs, and so I just cut them all, and um, here I'll show you. I just cut them all. I cut all, but I cut them all, but one I didn't add, I think, because I thought I saw an error on it, like a typo, like it didn't make sense. So, Midnight Bat, Magical Party Supplies, Madame Hortensia Fortune Teller, Salem Broom Company, Broom Parking, Tarot Readings. I just thought they were cute and something you, you know, people could use on as some different ephemera pieces. Um, and so I put the one that said the vintage Halloween designs on the outside so they know what was on the inside. And I left them black and white. I thought about um, doing print to cut on orange, but I just thought I'd leave them black and white since they're classic. And then I gave them a set of my girls and um, I put those there. So these all were in this box. back in there the way I had it. <laughs> That's always the challenge, right? When you're doing a video is to get it back the way it was. All right, so I had some other ephemera that I made. This is also one of my SVGs and I always pop it up on foam and use some glitter in the spider web piece in here. And then this was a new one that I got this year. It's also an SVG, it's very layered. Um, 
and it's uh i had to make myself a sample because there's an order that you put it together in so that it comes out right so i kept a sample for myself this paper that it's that i just backed it on was like a, a it was that 12 by 12 in that michael's pad but each car each part of it was like um a six by six so i cut it down and it was just these different designs that i know i'm never going to use and then i did a shaker um my uh what do you call these the um uh, can't even think of it but you know those bottles that we all do make for halloween and um which would be another thing those signs could be used on potion bottles why well, didn't that that was drawn a blank and then i did a witch's hat and this was a piece of ephemera with the little boots and the hat uh, bow that i got in a swap i thought it was really cute um i only had one black one i may have used the others already and then this bow i also got in a swap and i thought it was pretty and i had never seen that before and um and then I bought these flowers at Michael's. They, the package said red, but they, they look orange to me. And then I, this was a Pinterest that, um, so it was like the witch's feet, your boots, legs and boots. And then uh, the little um, crepe paper rosettes cut in half, kinda in half. Anyway, I use my, I have a dye. I used my witch's legs dye, and then I made the rosettes and added bows on top. Uh, and I did make those bows and um, added Jimmy's or my bat on that one. And um, I think I pulled both of these out because I did one in green and purple, one in purple and green. So I just wanted to share those. I have one more thing I'll share. I did a mini album, so I'll be right back. So my last things that I made for the swap, um, and I did two of these. It's like a, it's like a mini album, but I made it to hold um, die cuts and ephemera. So this is, I also got it from my scrap chick, um, SVG, and um, I, I think I cut, um, I cut two pieces of cardstock, but I also cut a centerpiece just to give it some sturdiness. And so this is how it looks. And I only put two rings because I had two green ones. I had four green ones and I didn't have any, um, I, I wish I had had a black or some other color and I got to the last minute and I just didn't go to the store. So on the pocket, I, and hers doesn't come with pockets. I made pockets for mine by just basically reprinting the pumpkin and cutting it um and i mean recutting on the cricket and cutting it in half and so i just did some die cuts this is from um one die set it has witches hats and the sayings that go with them um this is a stampin up punch it's got the skeleton the scarecrow the vampire and there's one more in here skeleton vampire um i'm drawing a blank Anyway, it's called a cookie cutter and it comes with a punch. And then this one is um, a Sizzix die and it's a pumpkin and I did them in orange and purple um, and a printed one. And then I cut all of the uh, stems so that she can add those herself. And then I just use stickers from one of my, you know, I think it was the Simple Stories or Echo Park sticker sheets just to get rid of them. And then I had this little black black cat, which I think is a, um, I might have it here, is a Simon Says, it's a Simon, it's from Simon Says Stamp. And it's got like the little witch's hat and I just cut like two gray and two black. And then this is from a, another Stampin' Up! Halloween set. So this is the words, it's got a mummy, a vampire. Well, I think that's what's in the other one, the mummy. And so I just cut all the words in white, orange, and green, and all of the, the whole, I just cut the whole stamp set. And then I got two new dies. I got this cat, black cat boo, and, and then this boo, both I think from Timu. And they just came, so they ended up in the back pocket. So I did, um, 
I had to do a fold over on my, I was gonna show you the die if I can get, get in here. I don't wanna tear my black cat sticker <laughs> um, because I didn't have uh, the right size. I need to start going back to clear bags and ordering bags instead of ordering from Timu because the sizes are weird on Timu and so they never quite fit anything. I know that sounds crazy, but I guess you get what you pay for, right? So I cut them in, um, bear with me. I cut two, what did I do? I did black and silver, white shimmer with the black cat, and then I did um, white and black. And you can, you know, she could also layer them to kind of give a shadow and use this one as one. Um, and I was just trying to cut up, just cut some different ephemera. I always love it when I get other people's die cuts in my swap. I don't know why that's, um, I do. Cause then I use them, you know, it's something different that I don't have. Sometimes the colors are a little off and I have to figure out what I'm gonna use it on. But, um, but I do try to use them. And so I did this pocket sideways. So then that was perfect because this was able to slide in just like that. And then I just put something on the back. And so there's that. Now I'm, I'm at the point of how I'm going to package this. I'm, I think I might make a little gift bag. Um, I'm not sure. And then, uh-oh. I One of them I'm doing an ATC. I found these cats on these little kitties. I have a whole set. I think I have 12. And um, I just thought they were so, there was their AI and I just, just thought they were really pretty and vibrant. And um, I had this, this is like newsprint in the background. I had this stamping up kind of newsprint print paper. And so I decided to use that. And then I'm gonna put my info on the back. And then the other one had to have, an, have had to have a memory decks. So I used a different cat, there's another one. And then I just use some ephemera from my um, set just to kind of, it's always hard to fill in the space on a, um, on a um, memory decks card. For me it is. And then I just covered it in the back in one of those papers I have with the strips that you've seen me try to use up in this swap and added some bling. And then I, some of the stuff has popped up, uh, but not all, I didn't want it to be too bulky. All right, so, um, oh, and then I cut these cards earlier and then I hadn't done anything with them. So I just figured that's where I put my little note and my ATC or my memory decks. So I just added some stickers. I think they're Craft with Sarah and they're called Border, Halloween Border Cards. And so um, I just wanted to cut them to see what they look like and then I put them to the side. So now I'm gonna use them. All right, so hope you enjoy my swap and everything that I had done. Um, and, uh, just say thanks for watching and I will do a video to show you what my incoming swaps are. Have a great day.